All right, so we're ready to turn in our finished project for project one. And I wanted to walk us through that because there's some very important things that we need to know, like how to resize our images and also um, what we should be saying in, in our critique. So you would want to uh, go to the announcements in Blackboard, click on this week's class session, the course link. Here's the discussion for this, so you click on that underlying link. Um, before I go there, though, I'd like to go to resources and show you the critique guide um, which we're using for this class. Now, I am going to uh, copy and paste. You can just click and drag from there. But I'm going to copy and paste these questions into my thread, and I would suggest you do the same. So I'm copying this. Um, in order to copy, uh, you guys don't have these edit this edit option, so you can just click and drag um, over this type and then go to edit and copy or command C. Now, um, I'm going to go back to this week's class session where I was uh, wanting to uh, click on this thread. Um, looks like I already have a thread there. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, earlier I was trying to do something errored out. But let me walk us through, I'm going to delete this. You guys can't delete threads, I can. Um, let me walk us through creating the thread again and posting. So I hit the Create Thread button, and I'm going to put in here um, my name, and I'm going to put Example Thread Project 1. Now, you don't need to uh, critique my stuff, so this is just for an example. Now, what you want to do is... Um, you want to provide some explanation as to what you did here. So, um, so I would paste uh, those questions in here that you uh, got from the resources folder, and you can just answer these. Now, some of them don't really uh, make a whole lot of uh, sense, like, um, is the design solution appropriate for the client's product or service? We don't have a client here, but most of these uh, look like they're pretty good uh, questions that you can answer and basically these answers will help describe your work. So you guys need to describe your work. Um, so we you know, want to use the critique guide uh, as a guide for you dis um, describing your work. Okay. Also I posted um, the uh, an AIGA link, so that's a nice thing too. Uh, look at as well. Now I'm going to hit the return key and you notice that I keep getting these little um, bullets and stuff. Up here on the top of the message you can actually click off of bullets and hopefully it will go back over here to um, the edge. Now the bad thing is it somehow got rid of that. Alright, now we're going to insert some images. These are the images of the things that we had done. So put your cursor underneath this type. Um, or you know wherever it makes sense to put the cursor. And we're going to insert the image by clicking on the insert or edit image button. And then what we're going to do when this window comes up is we want to click on browse my computer. And we want to click on the probably the all caps one first because that's what we designed first. And you can see that it came in here with the bounding box. The bounding box is going to be nice because it'll show separation between one object and another. You hit the appearance folder or button and make sure these are smaller, like 700 pixels. It'll automatically adjust the width. If, when you type in the width, it'll automatically adjust the height. If you um, constrain the proportions, that's what that's about. So hit insert. It's asking, do I want an explanation? I don't need one. And you can see now that I have this in here with a box around it. And you want to repeat this for each one of these. Now, before I do, I want to return to a new line and then I can insert the other two. So I'll just do that quickly. Um, you know, you just don't want your images really, really big because we can't see them when we have to scroll everywhere. So um, please make sure that you go to the Appearances panel and type in, or Appearance button, and type in 700 as the maximum dimension for this. There's my second one. Hit the Return key, and I'll insert my third one. And uh, again, I'm going to browse my computer. 
uh, if a URL comes up, just click off of out here in the white space and click browse my computer again. And this will be upper lower case. Edit appearances. Type in 700. Hit insert. And lastly, you would insert or attach your uh, Adobe Illustrator document. There we go. Now, once you're done with all this and your explanation, you might want to type your explanation in Microsoft Word and do a spelling and grammar check on it. Plus, if this goes bad on you, uh, it's uh, when it goes bad, it doesn't remember what you put in there, so it gives you a draft. I'm going to hit submit, and this should submit this in the uh, thread. Right now, it's sending the request and waiting for uh, this. Um, now I did get an error, but we'll see if later that this if this comes back up. And uh, it looked like earlier I got this error, and you could see I it had. Uh, gone ahead and put my stuff in there. So I'll come back and look to see if this error is a big problem or not. Um, I'll go to discussions and scroll down the bottom to the most recent discussion and I'll see if I have anything posted there yet. It does say that I just did it. I don't know what it's missing or why it aired out but I do have um, two of the three images and it does not have my Illustrator file. So there might be something wrong with one of these images, um, but I can edit this by clicking on Edit and add more things. So I'm not going to worry about that right now, but you guys need to make sure you have all your stuff there, that you answer these questions, you discuss your work with these questions as, as guides, and then uh, you'll respond to at least four of your peers' um, posts by the deadline on Blackboard. Okay? Thank you, and if you have any questions, certainly message me or email me, preferably message, but if you don't hear from me right away, email me. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.